here. Boom, boom. I do this. And then fall. Put my put my forehead on the mat when you do it. <coughs> and then do it. That's it. Small squeeze. Now you can start combining that with snapping people's head down, grabbing, and then mm -hmm. flipping them. And then if they turn back into you, you just re guillotine them. You know, that type of shit. Uh, another really good setup is I'm here and I'm going for this. Mm -hmm. And uh, how would you get out of this? Oh, I have no idea. <laughs> Well, what well, most I mean, people do is before I can before I can sink and do that, they turn up into me, yeah. and as they turn, I'm wrapping like this. Yeah. If, you, if you if you stay there, then I'm just gonna flatten you back out and regrab the north south choke. But when people turn all the way up, I let them I let them rotate up in my hand. Like go to, go to your feet going up to your knees because I'm blocking this. I let them rotate all the way up, and then I feed, and now we're rolling. And again, I can I can tap people just by getting that middle finger on my wrist mm -hmm. right here and then squeezing. You see what I mean? <coughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's terrible, dude. I can make that really tight before I even move. And then if their hand comes up to hand butt, I shoot my underhook and I explode up. Yeah. I've gone away from this the past couple months, but I was on a guillotine kick with Marcelo team for a while. I was rolling people and taking that. It's a good sequence. It's a good sequence. But yes, some people will roll up in north south. Some people will get up on a really stupid underhook and they will off balance me in half guard. I'll just wrap the neck and fall back and do the guillotine. There's a lot of good setups. Yeah. Any time they're in trouble, snap them down. Uh, those are the, probably the most predominant ones. I don't like doing the one from Butterfly, but I know it works, and I have done it before. It just feels like I'm like too aggressively attacking people personally. That's what I was asking. Yeah. <laughs> um, Uh, something else you should start thinking about when uh, sparring is like there's like a certain amount of standing passes and a certain amount of like pressure passes and every time you're doing one of them you should be looking to combine them with all the other ones in that same category so like they're standing there's knee cut, leg drag, X, full yondo, uh, back step, long step. Um, those are probably most of them, but like you can combine all those. That's where, uh, oh, there's, there's leg pommel passing, or there's floating passing. Um, all of those are from standing. And then, you know, on the ground, there's double leg under, over under, fucking, there's body lock passing, there's, pressure passing, there's combinations between going from like tight passing to standing passing, but yeah, that's where like effective passing from starts coming in, okay. yeah, because I mean, I'll come up and, you know, I'm here, I'm shooting my hand in for this, and then like, and then your fucking leg comes over the top, and then I combine it with the leg drag, right? And then I start this leg drag, and then you, you bring this knee over, and now I'm in a low position, and I'm back to a knee cut, or I can, I can get up, and then I'll, and I'll pull the pass in, right? So there's the combination of those is how I end up passing all y'all's guard. Usually I'm not like walking up like this, and then I have my hand there for a knee cut, and I knee cut you. Usually that's not what happens. <laughs> Usually it's I came in and we hand fought, and then I jumped on a pass, and I combined it with like, Two or three more passes. Okay. Yeah. How I mean, how do you learn all those passes? Like, you learn them individually and then you start combining 
like one with another. So like, for the most part, you know how to knee cut, for the most part, underhook, chin drive across. Knowing that, all you have to do is be like, cool, that's what we're going all you have to do is knee cut him, and I'm waiting for this leg, this leg, to come all the way over to the top. If it doesn't, I'm not gonna... The top? <laughs> yeah, see, I've already beaten, I've already beaten it. Yeah, now there's my leg drag. Right, okay. Now I'm just, now I pass your guard with a leg drag. Well, I started with a knee cut, but I wanted a leg drag. You see what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So. And then, or I do the exact same thing, and I'll be like, cool, I'm gonna, I'm gonna beat you with floating passing. And then I go like this, and just your knee comes between, and then I'll just, and then I'll be here, and then I'll start floating back and forth, and that's how I get to my floating pattern. Okay. Yeah. So you choose, choose one to like start, just so that you have like, I'm gonna attempt this guard pass, and then off their reaction, we try to go for the next one. Okay. If it fails, we go to another thing. That's why it always feels like I'm like combining like 30 things in a row to pass a little guard, and you're like, <sighs> it just feels unfair. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, I'm completely just brained out. <laughs> now I'm like, I've got to do 30 guard passes Go. no, to do choose, one guard pass. Just choose two. Start with one and look for the other one afterwards. But it's all based off of what you do. Yeah, but I can force it based on how I entered that guard pass. Okay. So, like, the only way you can get a leg drag in or a reactionary leg drag is once my leg crosses over the top. Mm -hmm. And then now it's in the perfect position for you to just push along the line of where my, my shin is facing. And now you have that leg drag. Yeah. So, all you gotta do is come in for that knee cut. Okay. And when you come in, Keep your elbow really low and don't allow me to bring just the knee in. So I have to do this. And now that I do that, we're feeding. Yeah. See what I mean? Okay. But you could do the exact same knee cut and not keep your elbow real low. Yeah. So do the exact same thing. Don't keep your elbow low. And then I'm going to bring my elbow in as a, as like a, as a shield, yeah. right? And now that it's here, you can walk and square my legs up and then put your hands on the mat and start doing the floating pass. Right? I know you don't float pass. <laughs> I know you don't float past, yeah. but there's a folding pass here too. You keep bringing my legs all the way over, all the way down, boom, and then you underhook this side, and then when you, when you yeah, exactly, folding pass. Okay. See what I mean? Just because you change where your elbow was blocking. If your elbow blocks the, the shin coming in, then I can't, I can throw it over the top. But if it blocks the over the top, usually I can bring the knee just like in at the hip for like a low knee shield. Okay. See what I mean? Yeah. I'm just gonna put my so knee here. So there, you're blocking. So I mean, I would go like this. Yeah. So you can you could jump in an over under pass. You, I can tell you're looking at it. Yeah. So, <laughs> so I, that's what I mean. That's a perfectly fine. Yeah, exactly. Perfectly fine. And you set that up yourself without you even realizing. Because I only had one option. I couldn't get my knee. I'm like, oh fuck. I'm like that. Okay. Yeah. So here. So if you're here and you block that, I'm gonna frame and come here. And then the, the leg drag. Yeah, and then you, you back Just yourself up. Here. And you're here, and then all your weights go in there. Yeah. And then finish the leg drag. Right? You can do the cross step passing. So go ahead and cross step. So boom, bop. That goes there. You're getting ready to push my knee right here so that your knee can pummel to the outside. So that's usually what I do. Nope, your knee, not your foot. So while this is, while our knees are connected, bring your knee to the outside of my knee. Just bend and keep your foot. There you go. Now open that knee up. That's what I need you guys. All right. So when you cross step pass, when you start going for that, you start you start pushing that in. I bring this over. There's a leg drag. You see what I mean? Yeah. You just boom. Yeah. There's a leg drag. Yeah. Okay. That's how. And then I just do that like five times faster than we're doing right now. Yeah. That's why I pass everyone good. We'll have to think through. I know you do. If it, it should be, it should be. You should have done this so many, or you should do this so many times in the end that all of them become like natural to switch between any of them. Okay. That's why usually I just pick one pass or one type of thing and then I hit for like a month. That's why I've just been cross step passing is because it's new to me too because I've, I've been doing it for the past however fucking long. But it's not as, you know, proficient as like my knee cut is. If I really wanted a knee cut everyone in here, it would suck, but I would. <laughs> okay. Because I've done it for so long.
It's just one of those things, you know, it's just combining passes. See, this is one, one thing, like how do I do the knee cut pass when they're laying on their back like that? Grab both my feet yeah. and push on them. And then, at, no, like like lean your weight on my feet, and then as they as it opens, you step between. Yes. Now I'm. You see what I mean? Yep. That's not the one. See, I don't. I don't need to be here, right? What do you mean? You don't need to be here for the leg drag. Like this isn't the setup. I got to grab with this one, right? Usually, Cross. usually, uh, what I do for the leg drag is I push the same side of the foot to the butt. So okay. same side, push the foot. And then I push it to the butt angled like that. And then I, with this arm, I tap the knee pass. Okay. That's how I do mine. That's my preferred way to do the okay. leg drag. You push, so you can start, so. you can start the pass to this off with a leg drag if you want. You can push the foot to the butt and make it like push like this mm -hmm. so that when you pull the knee, it turns my knee, legs over. Rather than trying to pull my leg like that, that's the dumbest shit I've ever seen. People are like, oh, I'm gonna leg drag. I'm gonna try to pull my leg forward. It doesn't work. Like, I'm trying to drag the leg. Huh? You're trying to no. drag the leg. No, it just doesn't work. Yeah. So, yeah, so you push it. It's like an arm drag. You push it in the same side, and here. you cross. You pull it across. Yes. Okay. You see what I mean? Yeah. And then people yeah. will be trying to drop this knee down. Then you can go into whatever other pass you want from there. Yeah. And you just drop into shallow knee on belly or reverse knee on belly. You see what I mean? So. Yeah. Life. Did you? You'll see every single time I walk up to y'all's guard, I move your feet so that I can step in and out of a knee cut. But initially, I can't just step in because I'm just gonna like jam your fucking toe with my shin. It doesn't get me anywhere. And if I lift, especially as people that know fucking guard, like I'm just handing you my leg. So I have to monitor stuff so I can step in. There's my leg drag. You see, okay. I, I moved your foot like this so that when I pushed on your knee, it followed that line. Right? Okay. If I just if I just try to grab and pull your leg, like I'm, I'm pulling yeah. and pulling, you're gonna retract your knee and I'm not gonna get it across like I need it to. Right. Which is why I yeah. prefer that. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Yeah, and then I can, it forces me into my cross step. Now I'm cross step passing. All right, I'm opening. I finish my knee cut because that knee didn't come across. That's how. That's how I do all my sequences, though. I'm always starting off like. Somehow I'm, I'm controlling your feet. If I'm if I'm doing this, it's probably because I'm not going to step between and I'm going to start cross step passing. All right, and I'm going to start swiveling and doing that. Usually, if I want between, I have to push on the feet. Sometimes it'll be a leg drag. Sometimes it'll be a step between for a knee cut. Oh, it turns. Okay. Makes sense? Yeah. Uh, I think Gordon has a video where he's talking about like passing. Uh, you have to pass like each joint before you. Yeah. Yeah. It's that very true. Sense. Yeah. It's why when you start doing that knee cut and I put my foot on your shoulder, yeah. you're basically back to square one because now my feet are in front of you. And if you like lean into my foot, I can just kick away and you'll fall, you'll fall off me. That's why I talked about that like guard retention stuff that stuff show that guard retention stuff that Arthur showed where he was like he was here and then he just put his feet on the shoulders because you can't move because once you like commit to one side I can just push on I can just kick your shoulder and then go to De La Hiba. Because now you're passing none of my joints. Yeah. Because technically the whole like uh, the cross step passing is me starting by beating your foot and then I beat the knee. And then I'm like shallow on your hip, and then off of your reaction, I beat the hip. Because usually, like just throwing the legs by, it, gets, it puts me on like this really trash knee on belly, and then y'all shrimp, and then I back step, and then you shrimp, and then I go reverse knee on belly, or whatever. And then I react, and then I pin the hips. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Well, because you you entered a cross step, yeah. it's it's not super hard. It's kind of hard, in my opinion, to dip to knee cut over that. Okay. Like to knee cut over this thigh, you have to get it on the mat, and I'm I can just sit like this with my hand bracing this. Okay. Usually, if you're gonna knee cut over a um, over a hook, it, it's the shin to shin hook, but you put your knee right here. Like you drop that okay. knee in the gap. So, you see what I mean? so if, if I'm here, I'm 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 cross step passing or leg dragging. If I'm doing it like right here. Okay. So here. It's so right here. Yeah, I'm I'm opening just open the knee up, and you push that and you swivel. Yeah. 
And then they're gonna start doing shit like shrimping and trying to get that leg in front. Yeah. If you want a knee cut, you have to step between the legs. Okay. That's the that should be your goal. Just push on the feet, step between the legs, and then start looking for the knee cut. Okay. I just did same side and realized I didn't have anything for same side. Because you, there isn't good stuff for same side. I can show you shin leg walk here. Okay. You should so, intentionally step same side. Okay, so it's always if it's if it's, it's either between or cross. Okay. Cross, you're going to do the leg drag. You're doing the, the cross step pass and the parallel to the bar. Okay. So here, push his butt. Boom. Yeah. And then it's fucking hard to do other like it skates off that version yeah. of the leg drag because you're just past. Yeah. Once you're past the hips, you're past. past yeah. 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 All you gotta do is finish. Okay. So. Uh, see, trying to. It's always going to be when you grab the foot. It's always going to be the the foot side that you grab, right? So like, if I'm coming here, I have to go cross step because there's no same side pass, right? In my opinion, there's no good same side pass yet. So then I have to use this hand to push, right? So that I can leg drag this one. The, the, leg, the leg drag is... Because i got to push on this knee, right? So the leg drag is the same side grip. So I'm going to push my foot in. i push my foot with that, with that hand. Okay. And then you, you, push, you push the foot until it's like all the way up here. And then that hand taps the knee through. Okay, so... That's the leg push drag. Push it here. Yes, and, and that taps through. Yes. Okay. So regardless, I'm just coming down and grabbing the feet. I'm monitoring the feet. Okay. So just whatever way, just grab the foot. Yeah. And if you're going to... And then that same side. So that's cross. Yeah. Okay. And now you can knee tap or leg drag. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Or you can grab the feet and step between and knee cut. Okay. So here. You're there. You're doing this. And then you're monitoring this. If I get this inside, you can't knee cut anymore. That's why that elbow has got to be like a, a murder elbow, like really tight next to that, so I can't I can't come in at all with it. Okay. Right. And then everyone's gonna frame and start doing shit like this, and then you can either leg drag or you can back up, and then you can start looking for a cross step on this bottom leg. So by like by like knee pummeling the bottom leg, so just like knee pummel. Now you're in a cross step position. Now we're see what I mean. And then we're now, to now you're back to leg drag and do all do all that shit. Okay. All right. It's just I just monitor them until I find one of the common scenarios that I can put myself in. Okay. Yeah. I know, there's a lot to it, because you have to know each pass alone. Yeah. And then yeah. you have to learn how to combine them into each other. And then, once you learn that, then you have to learn how to trick people, which is kind of the point that I'm at. Because, like, people that are really fucking good, they know how to stop each one individually, and they know how to stop the generic combo. So I gotta kind of, like, trick them into, like, falling for something that they didn't know, or... Mm -hmm. Whatever. That's why I do that. <laughs> I do that stupid pass where I walk, I walk up and I go like this, and then I, <laughs> I, shut, I shut the legs. But here's the trick. It's it's like oh he's he's gonna go he's gonna butterfly pass, and then I, I put my hips in and then I sit up. Or the one where I walk up and I go like that because <laughs> people are gonna freak out and sit backwards when they do it. Yeah. If you watch when I when I come in, there's there's that pass, right? Or I'm stepping between and I'm monitoring that leg so that I can find this knee cut. And now I'm good to go for that knee cut and I'm pointing that knee down and finishing it. Alright, stepping, leg drag, then you got the knee there. But if you see when I'm when I'm stepping, I'm really like I'm I am getting my knee under there and like turning him up. Alright? Okay. And that and then when it comes to combos, when I get here. And then he starts throwing stuff through. I can start finishing by finishing with other techniques. All right. Or I'll be here and I'll cross step. And I'm, I'm waiting for that to come over so I can pull him into some type of double leg under press. You see what I mean? I'm just like, I want the first one to work. Don't get me wrong. But I need to be able to fluidly combine. It's hard, it's hard to think like that. It is. Well, I, I get the point. Like it's it's the triangle armbar sequence. Yeah, exactly. You're, you're 
going to the triangle, and then they do something. Yes. And then now you're doing something else. Yes. So it's the same thing yep. with card passing. Mm -hmm. Just hopefully you can get really good 